Where do you go when you die? Chapter 1 by Mark Anthony Rains Tommy, Ralph and Sophia are what seems to be just a normal group of children living on the same block of flats. For each, for reasons of their own, have a demon stalking the ability to talk. It's a jet black, has glowing eyes, and the dog calls itself happy. The job every night is to take them for a hellish ride for dimensions, time, via the using an old, abandoned well. Chapter 1. Tainted Milk Tommy is a small boy with blonde hair and natural health glasses who spends time at his flat watching television and staring at his mother, respecting his unborn brother. This is making him feel neglected as he was the firstborn and loved his mother's attention. As he lay in his bed, happy appears in his dreams, feeling in the head that his mother's breast milk will be tainted so his brother will grow up to be the Antichrist. Happy shows Tommy nightmare images of his brother nailed to a wooden cross with no image of the face, and not born yet, so blurred out that you see on television when someone does not wish their face to be recognised by anyone. Tommy keeps hearing a worm-like whisper from Happy. Kill your brother. All you need to do is take it out of his, out of his mother's belly. Tommy resists, resistant to this ungodly act. So T- Happy takes charge by tearing the baby out from his mother's womb. Blood pours everywhere. At this, Tommy passes out in a coma-like state of being between the known world and the other realm. Tommy has a vision where... His brother's fetus is trapped. His mother mutant, mutates into an amphitic, amphomorphic dog. Tommy pondering at this situation, where he is now in a garden in which sits an abandoned well, where he hears a spirit speak from its depth. A voice echoes, saying his name is Simon. He can grant his greatest wish. Tommy wishes that his mother was still alive, but this is all trick. It becomes more aware of his circumstances. In his arms is his unborn brother laying next to him. He's badly mutated, mutated the devil of his mother. He looks at his hands closer and sees they are painted red with crimson blood. At this point, with tears streaming down his eyes, he buries both of the bodies. Happy, just as a huge grin on his face, and his red eyes glowing more brighter than before.